darling fumination. <laughs> How are you? How are we? My name is Fumite Saluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. This is a very, very special episode series and a beginning for me because it is my first ever podcast. <laughs> I did tell you. We are going to have a phenomenal guest today. And it is with great pleasure that I have Toyin Lawani the cast member of all cast members the king of fashion of all fashion styles of which i am wearing of the real housewives of lagos and for those of you that know that she was not at the real housewives reunion season two i get the honor and pleasure of having her here we're going to ask all of the questions and i am going to let her what i'm going to let her speak but before she comes on, I want to let you know, as you very well do, we are having a meet and greet, my darlings, on the 21st of April. Yes, baby. Before I even go on, the tickets are below this episode. The link will also be pinned to the comment section. I also have it on my Instagram. You will see it underneath my profile. It is there, my darlings. If you don't get your ticket, I don't know what to tell you because you know what? Once I hit capacity, I hit capacity. There's nothing else I can do. I want to thank my beautiful younger brother. He tickled me today. He bought five tickets for Fumination Men. So if you want a ticket, my darling, you have to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, yep, 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 yep. You have to screenshot, send me an email. The email will be here. And you are my beautiful Fumination men. I will have goodie bags for you. You'll dance with the ladies. Just dance. <laughs> and we're going to have a fabulous time. Thank you to Novotel Hotel for your hospitality. It has been really amazing. I want to thank the brands, Juvia's Place, of which, and of whom, I collabed twice. I live for you, Chichi. You know my heart. Thank you to Gerard Cosmetics. Jen, we speak at midnight, and you don't mind. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Healthy Hair Studio. I mean, there you go, babies. To go with this beautiful Grace Jones S jacket. It only had to be this kind of hair. To wardrobe of beauty, for the brows, for the skin tags, for the flawlessness. At the happy age of 55, <laughs> don't be jelly, they're coming for you, baby. The non-profit organization that is coming with chocolates for women that have had relationships that became other than relationships. I support you. I live for you. We're going to talk about fertility. We're going to talk about health and wellness. We're going to talk about menopause. We also have special guests that we talk about business. I cannot wait. We have wellness, detox, darlings. When I tell you, it all comes out from the inside out. It's going to be beyond and fabulous. We also have sweetness catering. Sweetness catering. The food. <laughs> Chris! <laughs> Let me throw my shoe. <laughs> he showed me the menu. I lived for it. I threw my shoe. Chris, I can't wait for you on the day. God bless you. God bless you for making this wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful indeed. I also want to thank Sane for their beautiful wrapping paper. If it's not you who. I want to thank Lula Cosmetics. You guys are being so spoiled. You're so spoiled for this meet and greet. We're going to dance. We're going to eat cake. We're going to have Q&A. We're going to have giveaways. Thank you to the Laser Premier Skin Clinic. Thank you so much. That is where I get all of my laser. That's where I get all of my smoothness. That is where everything begins and starts. When I tell you from top to bottom. It's a fabulous day. It's going to be epic epic when i tell you i cannot wait to see all of you there and before we commence with the first ever fumi de salu Vold podcast 2024 i am wearing none other king of fashion let me get up so that you can see the outfit the fabuloso baby just look at my skinny self <laughs> ula say hi i need my shoe ula. hi <laughs> <laughs> Christina, say hi. Queen hi, for me, Desha. Christina's here. Yes. It's a party. <laughs> okay, so let me go to the back so that you can see what this looks like. And then we're going to have the guest of the hour walk in. So here we are, baby. 
the Fabuloso. I would wear this shopping. Yeah, go and get groceries for Adrian. Why not? I live for it. It's not for everyone. But then again, why would this be for everyone? This is a dramatic piece I would wear on the red carpet. I live and love, live and love this. Photo shoots, music videos, magazine editorial covers, fabulous weddings. King of fashion, Tiana, is your girl. A hundred percent. And I would lace it up with what? Taro collection jewelry. She's making special jewelry for me and she's a sponsor on that day. Darlings, without any further ado, I would like you to put your hands together and welcome Tony Lawa. Hello, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. We have the fabulous king of fashion, Toy Lawani, here with us on our very first podcast. Toy, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, sugar pie. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure. Sorry about my voice. I am so sorry. Yeah. I am so sorry. We're going to get into that. But before then, Tell us about your businesses. I live for your business. I was telling Fumi Nation that I am wearing, and I have been wearing her outfits all week. Really, truly, I'm interested. And I want to know. My DMs have been buzzing like, oh my God, I want Fumi's looks. I want Fumi's looks. How can I get it? No, yeah, you're an amazing influencer. Thank you. And I'm happy about that. You're so welcome. Tell me about your businesses. Um, I run 33 businesses under Tiana Space Empire. I'm, I'm sure everybody knows that. I've been, you know, running it for years. I didn't just start today. I started while I was in school back in Elag. And it's, it's been a journey. It's blown up real big till day. And I think fashion has been one of my strongest strengths. Yeah. It's opened a lot of doors for me. You know, transition from my transformer pieces to my avant-garde pieces to my artistic pieces that people are really knowing me for. And that has also opened a lot of doors for me internationally as well. You know, like you say, <laughs> in Nigeria, most of the time, most of these looks are looks that they even throw. And I have like CNN, BBC messaging me, they want me to talk about it. They are inviting me to galleries, they are inviting me. So like, last year, it really opened up big doors for me. I'm sure you get to see most of my international collaboration coming with some Hollywood celebrities that I've worked with and the ones I've worked with in the past as well. I've been able to continue the relationship to get them to work with me again just because of these same artistic pieces that I'm talking about. As you saw on Real Housewives of Lagos, I think that platform also you know, gave me that chance to showcase my talent to the world. 100%. In another life, because the show is international as well, so I had a lot of people reaching out to me, people I would never even think about, like the galleries that are reaching out to me to come have an exhibition with them, or they could sell this piece or that piece for this thousand pounds, and I'm like, really? I didn't even know, you know, I could make that much with my heart until I moved to London last year, which is still a transition for me, like... You go back and forth? I go back and forth because I have an empire to run. I have students in my fashion school. I have a lot of staff. I have over 800 staff that works for me. And it's not easy running production. My skin production, Tiana's good products. My fashion production as well. And also just when people don't see you for a while. But because of my health and I had a setback, I had to just relocate here temporarily. My kids are in school here now. I had to just relocate temporarily just to take care of myself and I told myself I was my doctor said I should take out two years just to get myself back on track and I promised them I would take out a year it's gonna be a year in uh, July wow yes um, I'm glad I'm starting to speak well gradually now I said three months ago I was make I was still making only sounds I wasn't really speaking very well but I thank God at least the voice <laughs> coming out now yeah I've lost a lot of endorsements I've lost so many endorsements so many but you get them back obviously it's, uh, it's king of fashion now <laughs> nobody can take my nobody there's nobody to replace yes. the one and only if you stand for what you believe in it will always be you inventing things creating that is true. things all the time that is true you know, I'm being different every time I still come up to the scene and do something it's still something they've never seen before so I'm not worried about that what I'm just worried about now is to get my life back 
You know how it is when you're bedridden and you can't do the things that you love to do. <sighs> do you know what how that feels like? Health I think I is well. I went through the most depression. I promised myself I was not going to cry today. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. So I went through like the depression phase was I'm just happy that I have my kids, I had my family with me, and that really straightened my healing process. And I had some amazing friends too. Uh, it's been a journey, but I'm just grateful to God. And I'm glad I'm starting to get myself back. I had to take myself off social media entirely. People see me post, but they don't know that I'm not the one posting. I can create content. <laughs> My husband does all that for me, but you would think that it, that is me Amen. that is doing it. But my absence on social media wasn't felt. But people really knew there was something wrong. They knew I wasn't the same. And every time I would get on a live video, sorry, and mm. try to talk, and some people even troll. So I just say, you know what? I don't want this space for myself. It's too much. I can't keep explaining to people every time I put yes. a video. What is wrong with you? What? I'm like, okay, go to my YouTube. Tiana Space Empire is there. I shot a whole documentary because I knew this was going to happen. I knew people were going to ask me what happened to you all of a sudden. You were talking where you just said you were going to have a spine surgery next thing You're talking like this. What's going on? So I did that for them to go What the Phoenix. It's on my YouTube channel. They'll understand what it's been. It's not been easy. Even with my implants right now, my spine implants, I still go through a lot of pain. You know, it's the healing process I'm just praying for now for God's complete. Thank you, Auntie Fumi, for coming. I rushed it to my side. <laughs> Auntie Fumi ran to 360 when she heard I was ill when I was, I was shot. She ran and came to me. 100%. You know, ah, she, no makeup, nothing. She tied her head. I've never seen Auntie Fumi like that before. Just pray for her and Auntie Fumi in your life. God bless. God bless. It was a pleasure. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. Congratulations to have 33 businesses. To be a wife, to be a mother, to be Sorry. transitioning between Nigeria and London, to have gone, done all of this and still have been touch and go with your life. That's, that shows the kind of king that you are, that kind of king energy. Yesterday, I did the recap of the reunion of Real Housewives of Lagos. And I said that you had king energy. I said that king energy is not for everybody. You and Faith had that king yeah, energy. You were not able to go to the reunion and you had a fantastic intro where you explained and I thought it was such class. You have the opportunity now because your fans are still out here in these streets. <laughs> oh yes. I've not watched the reunion till date. I didn't watch the, the season one reunion. I didn't watch the season two reunion. I sent the video. They asked mm -hmm. me to send the video. I argued back and forth about sending that video because I didn't want to send that video looking weak. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to send that video saying too much at the same time. Mm -hmm. I just wanted the video to come from a happy place. Yes. And I didn't like the fact that I was sounding like I, I still don't like that I'm sounding like this, but I don't have a choice. Life no. goes on. Yes. My life has to go on. People need to embrace me like that. Yes. People need to accept it. But before people can accept it, you have to accept yourself. Hundred percent. So I'm like, okay, it is what it is. I'll send in the video, and I'm glad a lot of people reached out. People like that sent in that video, and people like that said my mind because I cannot not say my mind. Yes. <laughs> and I think I'm I'm still like the only person that I haven't done a media round. No. I've not done any podcast. This is my first podcast. podcast. It's not my thing. So when you said you were having a podcast, I'm like, why no? I love Auntie for me. You're always saying the truth regardless yeah. even me on the show. When I do some things you'll be like, Oh Tiana, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you cannot talk to me. No, you cannot beat anybody. No, Tiana. Yeah. Do I look for people's trouble? No. Yeah. Am I straightforward? I'm blunt? Yes. Do I look down on people? No. Am I condescending? No. Mm -hmm. I'm none of those things. And I don't expect people to do the same to me. Why was there that instant dislike for faith, especially Yabo? To me, I cannot speak for Yabo. The only thing that I witnessed was at uh, the Ekwe Resort. Yes. The party that yes. they had. You know, they just kept going on and on, your friend, friend. And, you know, at a time, at a point, it was just like everybody was on this girl. And even at a point, if you had watched very well, I walked out. That sitting, I was sitting on the floor. I had had an injection in my room. 
my nurse went with me. So you're sitting on the floor then? I sat on the floor because uh-huh. I was going through pains. So I wasn't even having it. My, they had given me an injection in my room before we even went outside. My nurse went with me to that location and nobody really knew. So I had taken injections. So I didn't even want any str- I couldn't even sit straight. So imagine I was already irritated like, what is this F? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. The girl is not my friend. I had not met her prior yes. to that time. Yes. I just met her um, once when we all had that sit down. Yeah. We had a ride together to Ekpe. That was how we started talking about our children. Of course. I realized we had a lot in common. Yes. Every time we talk is about business. Even till now, when me and Faith call, it's about ah, yeah. Faith, these people, they want to book you. There's yeah. an opportunity somewhere. Actually, she'll message me, Tiana, and this show, that show. That's how our friendship is, and our kids became very close. So, so imagine someone you don't even know that much and you felt the need to stand up for her not because she's fake just mm. because i felt like ah yes what is it now it was, was too all, much all this so everybody had their own thing going for them that day but if you ask me that question now why i don't know why i was confused and immediately i took my stance and i said yes you know when people are talking about other people and you stand there yes and you don't say anything you're as bad as the people that are talking about those people i love you have you seen any of the other cast members since you broke up from the production no immediately we stopped a recording which was um we had not even finished recording before i went into the hospital hmm. i refused to go for the beach thing because already i was feeling some type of way and i did not have energy for being in that toxic circle and I know myself, mm. like, when I'm upset and someone triggers me, I might do and undo. So I just said to myself, you know what? I cannot make it there. I'm going into the hospital. Bye. I wish you guys whatever. And that was that? Yeah. You even saw that scene where Chema was saying that I called her. I didn't call her. She called me. A production mother I've told her to call me. That's what they do production does it tell oh, yeah, you call this person so far you yeah, the one doing the event it's not a big deal why must we <laughs> do all that did so, they all know you were in hospital yeah they knew they knew they knew i was going into hospital that day yeah have you heard from them since no they knew i was going in no only yaba yaba came to the hospital she came even almost like three times or four times mm. she came when i was in the hospital she came when i was um at uh, my rehabilitation center because when i was done with the hospital i was still paralyzed from my left and my leg down so i had to go into physio so um like i said it took a process but she came there once and she came to the hospital Good. as well so everybody knew where i was if they wanted to come they would come and don't forget as at the time that i was in the hospital I didn't even tell the public I was sick until, even all the time, I, all the while when I was on my track, I told me to, and I couldn't speak. I didn't let anybody know. I didn't let the public know. The, when the public knew I was out of the hospital, I think it would have been about six months after. So I just, I'm someone that believes in healing and being strong, going through my darkest time alone, hiding it away. And when I'm strong enough, I can't talk about it. So I released that video. When I felt I was strong enough, I, already, I was already off my tube. Sure. I was already, you know, a bit stronger to talk. So late, so basically, just when I saw you, that was when you kind of announced it. Yes, that was that was even immediately even when you saw it. And you were wow. like, wow, you didn't tell me, you didn't. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. I was I, shocked. I just, I mean, you're a bad girl. We, we, even our parents tell us when you're traveling somewhere, don't tell anybody. Correct. Until when you leave Correct. the place. I do this, I do the same I do it thing. All the time. Even when I go out, it's only after I come back that I will yes, post it. And that's what I did. You know, I just fell for my own sanity as well. Let me just, because I can't be in the hospital and be going through all that and having people invade my privacy at the same time. No, it's too much. I went into the hospital for a spine surgery and I ended up, you know, it's something on the, the track to me too. I almost took my life. And, even as at uh, three weeks ago, I said I had another surgery here. I took out uh, a cyst from my throat that the trackers told me to give to me. I'm still having breathing issues. I'm still sleeping with my sleep up machine every night because if I don't, at times I stop breathing in my sleep. So, wow, still, trust me, I'm still going through all that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, will you come next season? Um, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure maybe mentally or physically, you know, health-wise, if I'm prepared for that. I'm not sure yet. What about Dr. Gome? What is that? <laughs> Because you said that you give him a knock on his head. <laughs> Mr. Rume Rume. I did not understand Mr. Rume. And you know, it could have worked for him. Worked for him very well because he actually has his I think he's bipolar. He actually has another attitude that is likable, you know, when he's ah, before, I said the same before thing. he will now strike and stink. And the thing about Rume Rume is I liked him. I never had yes. any issues with him. And I think like uh the issue he had with me was because he made him try to gossip with me. I just said, you know what? You, you shut it down. Don't bring this yeah. thing to me. Correct. And I think he was offended by it. There was even another sitting that we had at Laura's event. And I was telling him that, okay, I will not even tell Faith that I'm talking to you. I'll try and settle you people's <laughs> fight. <sighs> this guy called me Babo. And I'm like, seriously? So I feel what happened was that. I don't know why they set it up that it should be me who have that conversation because Faith wasn't even my friend as at that time. No. So why, even as at that sitting, there were loads of things that you should I said, remind me not to be your friend. Remind me not, not to offend you if I'm your friend because if I'm your friend, this is how you'll be talking about me. <gasps> and he said, no, 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 I don't talk about it. So he was talking about Faith. Uh -uh. He even molded a breast. He, when we were doing they didn't show it. He molded a big, funny looking caricature breast. I said that was fake. I said, is this how you talk about your customers? Because what they made me realize was... Is he a doctor? He's a fake doctor. So he's not a doctor? That one. Do doctors behave like that? Help me and ask. Do doctors, I need a drink. Do doctors it's Coke, by the way. Do doctors behave Zero. like that? Zero. Doctors don't behave like that. Do you see how doctors carry themselves? With 100%. Carry I said smart. it. The decorum. The, That's uh, it. Uh, that one. And he's giving Botox. Fake doctor. Don't take anything from Dr. Gumeo. That one is pure water I put in Laura's face. That I said that. It's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. The gist is coming. Did you out. see that guy go? He, he went to sit down to do interview to go after my business. I'm like, who are you trying to fool? So how did he get onto the show? I don't even know. He He's a be, buffoon. He must have been. Uh, to my understanding, him and um, Faith, they have the same managers, apparently. What kind of manager? They have the same managers. So words are being filtered between manager and between them, which when Faith, Faith, the issue Faith had with this guy was that, see, Tiana, this guy at every sitting says something negative about all the housewives. Yes, yeah, that is true. And I did not like it. That is true. And I had to pull myself back. Correct. And I didn't want to be associated with 100%, because that was not his MO. So, don't I mean, blame, her MO. don't blame the guy, don't blame the girl for doing that. You know, at times people like, oh, she just cut him off, she was... That was what she explained to me. I don't know that. And there were other things that he also said. That Faith has said something about his I family. Don't know. Blah, blah, which she explained that. No, that was not how it... See, my own self, it's not my business. Yes. I did not even put my mouth in their business. I did not even want to be in the middle of their business. Have my own... I'd already told myself that, see, this is the truth. I'm just coming to do me. Yes. I'll focus on my business. Yes. And that was what I did. Yeah, so, Real Housewife is house of lessons for people generally. It's just that people are so, they are so, you know, distracted with the drama. They are actually not focusing on the lessons yes. that they are learning from it. I said it yesterday. All they want to do is point and point fingers, oh, yes. judge people. That's it. Yes, I accept all my flaws. I'm not perfect. But there has to be an action before a reaction. Am yes. I classy? Yes. yes. But I can be a gangster. Yeah. That's the difference. That's it. Out here in these streets. Because, and me, I'm somebody, I'm very playful. Yes. And I'm very jovial. Yes. I'm sure you see from my, even on the show I'm myself two four seven. That's why I can afford to make mistakes. Yeah. And I can afford to because I'm myself. Yeah. I'm not calculated. I'm just yeah. myself. Me. If you say one room I if I don't carry microphone, knock out for brain. <laughs> Think whether I, I will remove all the Botox and all that is eyelashes. think that maybe Rome, Rome. camera somewhere because this guy lies on Provo. For what? Uh, no, I think he said it now. He said he's doing it for drama. Okay. And um, that was when I had to write on my page that word drama. And like, they're not making it seem as if the show was scripted. This show is not scripted. They give us scenarios where they mm -hmm. tell you you are meeting with this person today, you are meeting with that person today, you are discussing what happened here or there. 
that's guidelines. Yes. Because Real Housewives is all about drama. Did I discuss with anybody what I was bringing this year? No, I didn't have any discussion with anybody when I was going to be dramatic. So that means, like you're saying, the the fights I had with uh, Choma is drama. That means women would enjoy bringing down other women in the name of drama. You enjoy bringing down my business in the name of drama, just hurts my feelings. No, now what kind of drama? So you uh, you go to a show and tell them that I lied about being pregnant and that's drama. Are you serious? You even body shape me and say I'm still big, not even knowing that I had edema and that's drama. No, that's crossing the line. There's a difference. I'm very, very, very sorry that, that's, about that's that pregnancy. That's a big crossing the line. I'm very sorry. Yes. Oh, wow. Tony, thank you very, 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 very much. <laughs> very, very, very much. Very, very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony, we can be here all day. I know, right? You can be here all day. Oh, my God. But I live and love. Tony, it is such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. And more than anything, I am very proud of your businesses, of which we are going to, hopefully, when you come back again, you will bring products from all of your businesses, okay? Yeah. So that we can showcase them on the channel. Darlings, that is podcast number one, baby. <laughs> Tony, what else do you have to say, sweetheart? Um, basically, I just... I want to say this to everyone out there yep. who's hard working, raising kids and yep. going through uh -huh. hard time. Never give up. I think the trick is surrounding yourself with people that love you genuinely because no matter what you're going through, if you don't have people that really support you, that loves you, you lose yourself while, you know, being down. And I'm happy. You guys need to look out for Finding Messiah. It's a movie by Oscar, Kemadeti Bad's husband. Um, they pushed me to start that movie while I was in the hospital, and I'm very glad I did so. Uh, ah! So it wasn't really easy being sick and on a tube on that set. That was like the biggest project I've. Worked Congratulations! They pulled me out for six months from London to Lagos to work on it, then back again. So I'm really happy, and you see how God does His wonders. Mm. The day uh, Doctor Rumole, <laughs> King of Liars, went. <laughs> To sit down with you, I was saying something negative about Tiana is not creative. I'm like, yo, King of Fashion is the most creative human being I ever stepped out. But of you know, Africa. you don't even and have you know, to. I don't have to tell you. You don't have to tell you. Don't so have to I was move. not even bothered. No. Somebody just gave me a call and said, oh, I saw a balloon dress that one midget was talking about on negatively on a show that I love the dress. I would love you to create it for my wedding or inflate it. I'm like, really? And. They are paying so well. So you see, when somebody, when an enemy thinks they want to bring your business, they are using it to elevate you. They are so, promoting so you. Rumi, thank you for <laughs> yes, he promoted you. Thank you. That's thank it. You. Do not forget to like, to subscribe. Do we live, do we love, my darlings? And we will see you on the next episode. Tanya, out. <laughs> ah, I live. I love. <laughs>
to recall 